it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to give you an overview of Roland DG Connect. Roland DG Connect is the hub where you are going to find the utility, you will find VersaWorks, and you will find Flexi Designer, all for the BY20, which is the DTF. 20-inch uh, DTF. It will also operate and run basically the Roland BN2 series. So BN220 and BN220A along with um, if you have the UV printer, uh, the BD8, and many of the other Roland machines. Now, some of them don't have to run through DG Connect, but I'm gonna give you an overview. You may hear me reference throughout this video um, a machine that you don't have. However, the DG Connect hub and the utility, the newly improved utility that was basically rolled out in mid-2023, it works the, similarly, pretty much the same, for all of the machines that use DG Connect Hub. So don't be afraid like, oh, she men mentioned sheet cut for the BN2, but I have the BY20. It works the same. Same with the move function, same with how you're gonna add uh, new materials, how you're gonna do the setup, how you're gonna do a nozzle check. All of that stuff is the same. So uh, this one, um, just know that if you are brand new to the Roland BY20, you are gonna use DG Connect and I'm gonna get you going with it. So let's get started with that. Okay, so this is what the Roland DG Connect hub looks like. There are four different, um, basically, items as you can see. So you'll have Roland DG Connect, um, you'll have the uh, status of your machine. So right now mine's on standby because the power is on, okay? If it is not yet set up, it will say not yet set up. Then you also have the BN2 utility, you have VersaWorks and you have Flexi Designer. So let's take a look at each of them. When you click open, well, first of all, I should say uh, all of mine are installed. So they say open. Let's say I haven't installed Flexi Designer yet. It's going to say install and it's going to have a yellow button there instead of the, the blue open. So I can easily install the Flexi Designer of VersaWorks Studio right here from DG Connect. So the ones that you, the spots that you are going to use the most often are these three right here once you get set up and going. But Roland DG Connect itself will also have a lot of really helpful information. As you can see, it says it's a printer monitoring application that supports your business. Kind of vague, but basically what it does if you click open, and right now mine's going to be blank because this is a brand new um, machine that is not yet um, in the, any of the dashboards, but it is going to give you information about your machine. It's going to tell you, you know, if you, how much it's, you're, you have a, basically a cost calculator. You have all different types of things in your Connect dashboard that is that are going to help you run your business. So I will look more into that once um, mine fills out a little bit more to help you get a better understanding of that. The utility is really, really important. Okay, so you'll launch the utility and you will find, um, let's just click recover so that it starts back up. But with the utility, this is where you are going to do everything from adding new so new media which i have a separate video on you'll click setup to cleaning to setting a new base point to sheet cutting everything is going to be in there so right now what you want to do when you're looking at your utility is this bar up here it's going to tell you what you need to do so right now i don't even have the option um to move forward with sending a job because i don't have any media loaded once my media is loaded so let's say I click setup and it's going to tell me which one do you want to use, which media. I've already added this media, so I'm just going to click that I want the GCVP. Uh, it's going to tell me, load the media. Make sure that it is set up correctly, okay? It's going to give me here. It's Did you see it really quick? It it gave me an error to say that the, the window, the top panel was open. So any errors that you have is going to show you in this utility window. Obviously, I'm going to wait until it's done. This setup is, is in progress as it's showing. But what you have now, once it's set up and it's ready to go, this bar up top here is going to change the status. It's saying output possible. That basically means it's ready, okay? I don't really like that verbiage, but that's what we have. It has detected a 20 inch or 471 millimeter <clears throat> roll of material. Right now, it's telling me that the print heater and the dryer, what the temperatures are. So if I tried to print and cut right now, it would 
tell me that I need to wait until the printer and the dryer have come up to temperature. I can see here my ink levels, okay? So if there's something else I need to do, for example, if I need to move the position of the base point, I can go in here and do that. I do have a separate video on this because it's a little more involved than just you know referencing right now. Sheet cut, this is also where you are going to do a sheet cut. So after you have print, printed or print and cut, you can have the machine automatically slice off um, the sheet from the roll so that you're not wasting material and so that you're not trying to fight with, you know, some scissors or an X-Acto knife to do that. You also have um, the option in here for cleaning. So when you want to do a nozzle check, when you need to do head cleanings, all of that is in here in this utility, okay? Um, cancel the setup. If you need to adjust your blade, this is how you are going to do it. If you are going through and setting up um, the very first time, or if you need to calibrate, this is how you are going to do it. You are just going to follow these videos. You can see it tells you here exactly how to do this. Just remember, output basically means print, okay? Okay, so then back here in the hub, let's close this out. You, uh, we'll say yes for now. We have the ability to hop into VersaWorks and also Flexi Designer. My suggestion, really, I wish this was the way it was. I wish that Flexi and, and VersaWorks were actually flipped in, in the hub because in the workflow, in your workflow, you are going to go to the utility, but then you basically need to go into Flexi. So I wish that this these two were flipped. So we're going to go into Flexi first. So Flexi Designer is going to launch. You can bypass VersaWorks completely by sending your design directly from Flexi to your machine you'll be able to do all of that directly from here again i have other videos on that so i'm not going to go too deep into this but i will tell you that this is you actually don't even need to go back to the hub because you don't need to go back into versaworks you do however have the option to go back to versaworks so while uh flexi designer being able to print directly to your roll from there is going to give you um some i don't want to call it basic but pretty basic um uh settings if you need something more like tiling if you want a different color profile if you want you know more options you're essentially going to export your design from flexi and then put it directly into versaworks so again you can launch versaworks directly from the hub so we'll do that here it's telling me mine's already running okay so it's telling me mine's already running but if it wasn't this is where i would launch it and you could see that my BN2, the status ready to print is the same as what we saw in the utility and also the same as what we saw on the hub, okay? So all of them are saying standby, ready, um, output available. They all mean the same thing. Don't be afraid of the DG Connect. It can be a little intimidating or overwhelming um, when you are first getting started, especially if you're used to the role in BN20 or BN20A that doesn't use any of that. It does use the utility and it does use VersaWorks, but they're not necessarily tied together the way that it all is here in the DG Connect Hub, okay? All right, so of course I'm here to help you guys. I have videos, tutorials, and everything on all of this and more will be coming as well. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help, I offer that through uh, Silhouette U and you can get a seven-day free trial for that. And all of the links for ordering the best bundles are also available in the description below. All right, guys, see you soon.